I'm Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about how do we follow patients that have had thyroid cancer surgery. Dr. Clayman, I got to thank you for this opportunity. And I first of all, I want to thank you so much for your app. I got the new app you, that you guys made, the Thyroid Nodule app. It's really cool, and I love showing everybody my nodule, and it's awesome. But this question, I want to, I want to ask you, now that I've had my thyroid surgery, what do I do? How do I follow up? Do I see a doctor every month, every six months, every year? Can I just say goodbye? What, what happens now that I've had my thyroid operation for my thyroid cancer? What's the follow-up? What do I do? It's a relationship with your endocrinologist. So that's, that's the most important thing. And so uh, it is going to be watching your thyroid hormone because your hormone requirements may change over the course of your lifetime. And following thyroid cancer is following for an entire lifetime. They're not gonna give you up. So I need a really good relationship with my endocrinologist. So we talked in a different video, an earlier video about finding the right endocrinologist, but it's really important to find that person because they're gonna be working with me on this for years. For years, for years. And they're likely going to be doing just a couple different things. They're going to be examining you. By touching my neck, you mean? Touching your neck, doing an ultrasound of your neck, and examining and checking your blood tests. And the blood tests we talked about earlier, thyroid globulin, the, the hormone, the, the, the protein that's made in the thyroid, we're, we're talking about measuring that in a different video, and they're measuring my thyroid hormone levels to monitor those things that, how many, how much, how many thyroid pills I take a day, right? Correct. And sometimes even monitoring your calcium as well. I see. And um, how often do I need an, an ultrasound? I mean, I, the, the thyroid's gone, and if the cancer's gone, they all do, what's the purpose of the ultrasound? So independent whether your whole thyroid gland has been removed or just half of your thyroid gland is removed, the follow-up is otherwise the same. After the surgery, I tell patients, don't even get your first ultrasound until six months later because there's all sorts of things that change as a result of having that recent surgery and you want to get to what? Let, let it heal for a while. Let it, it heal before we get a new baseline correct. ultrasound, like at six months. And then what, is it every six months? or and then, it... and then usually annually thereafter. Got it. Except in very unusual circumstances where other studies are in. And who's going to decide? In a different video, we talk about radioactive iodine. But who's going to decide if I need radioactive iodine? Is that the surgeon's job to figure that out? The endocrinologist's job to find, figure that out? We all figure it out together. It depends on the pathology. It's really, a de ultimately, you're going to make the decision, right? Sure. Okay. But it is based upon what the surgeon found during the surgery. Their surgical observations are very important in sort of making that determination. And then second is sort of analysis review of the final pathology report of your surgery. And that's between the surgeon, the endocrinologist, and you. So my relationship with this endocrinologist is really important. I need to find one that I like and trust. That's, that seems to be the, the takeaway take away a message here for long-term follow-up. And it's going to be a long-term relationship.